What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we got a patterning video for you. I got a new gun last year. This is the Winchester SXP 20 gauge long beard edition. It has a 24 inch barrel. I'm shooting an Indian Creek 555 choke and I have the Apex 20 gauge nine shot and the payload it's a it's three inch and the payload is an ounce and five eighths and that's a pretty common and standard uh size load when it comes to the 20 gauge tss um, shot so we're just going to use that and uh we're going to go ahead and sight in the new gun and pattern it i have a vortex venom three MOA sight on here. I have the cover on right now. But as you can see, I have that right there. And um, we are gonna do some cool patterning videos. Like always, I am going to shoot cheap shells. I think this is lead. And I'm going to figure out how much the ticks on the vortex actually change the pattern how far it moves it over to one side or another i'd recommend doing that um, when you guys are out there patterning your gun because it is a lot different than shooting a rifle um, one moa tick isn't the, isn't necessarily always the same it's just it's weird to think about it's a little bit different with shotguns at least in my experience so i would recommend saving yourself some money going to get some cheap shells before you send the expensive ones down range so hopefully we only have to use two or three apex shells to get this thing dialed in and we're ready to kill some turkeys all right so this is my first ever time shooting the winchester sxp i just got it last year before the well at the end of turkey season last year haven't really done anything to sight it in or any of that sort of stuff because apex ammunition has been out of stock so i'm first going to start off with these remington loads i just found these in one of our cabinets outside or whatever and uh, i'm just going to send a few of these down range and get a feel for how this thing is patterning and uh and how i need to adjust it well guys i got it on target the pattern that is and it took me about five shells to really get it i noticed that with this mount that you see right here um, when you put it on stock just without touching it it really likes to put your gun barrel down towards the dirt i was shooting in the dirt um twice and then i really adjusted it really cranked on it and uh pretty well just kind of by sight lined it in with the line of the barrel and then started kind of tweaking it a little bit but now that we have it on target it's time to up the ante we're gonna throw some tss down at it and uh and then from there we're really gonna be able to um to be able to adjust it the harder part about using these is these are to get it on target and and kind of move it around a little bit but they're not dense enough to really know like the pattern's not dense enough down there to really know where the specific spot is so you have to use something like tss in order to get down there and get the specific spot of where that pattern is going to pattern so we're gonna go ahead and line one up and uh send it down range All right, let's go ahead and go check that out. All right, so we are down range right now, and I forget how small these TSS BBs are, but it looks like we did pretty darn good. This is 40 yards, I will say. I don't think I said that early on, um, but the pattern is a little low right, which is an easy fix. Um, I just was hoping it wasn't like high something, because if it was high, I was having trouble is dialing down even more but it's low right so we can move that pretty easily um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what the pattern looks like all right now I know the Sun ain't on it great but if you can see right here majority of the pattern is right here now basically all we want to do is we want to take that and move that to right there um, as you would just sighting in any gun so once we get this all lined up we should be ready to kill some turkeys but that is a 
that is a dense pattern and from where my fingers are pretty well you cannot fit a turkey head in there so we're doing pretty good and hopefully we can just get that lined up right there and uh, be killing some turkeys I will say for a 20 gauge that thing's got a little bit of a, a kick to it now I mean more than what I thought it was gonna be that's for sure but it is a pump and it's not like inertia or gas to where it's kind of relieving some of the pressure but still kind of surprised me there for a second well guys I fired off my last shot um, for the evening with the TSS um, I will go ahead and draw the circles count the BBs do all that stuff for you guys um, and you guys only basically I, I'm kind of curious about it but the pattern speaks for itself I am content with where I'm at and I believe that I could kill a bird out to 50 yards if I really wanted to. Um, heck, maybe in 55, but that's, that's getting out there um, for a 20 gauge, I would say. But I like the pattern. I'm gonna move it over just a hair to the left again. Um, for the most part, we are getting it high enough. I will just aim for the, the, the head of the turkey instead of kind of like where the head and the neck kind of connects like I generally do I'll just aim for the head and uh, pull the trigger and I'll have a flopping bird so I'm gonna show you guys this and um, I'll go inside take all this down clean everything up do the circles and post-production all that fun stuff that I gotta do and um, and I'll show you the rest of this and then I'll sign off so let me get this taken care of and um, I'll see y'all in a bit all right guys so i'm inside the house i finally counted up the bbs on the pattern sheet that i had outside and i'm gonna go ahead and show that to you now so overall i am impressed with it i wanted to make sure that i had something that was pretty good in the 20 um, inch circle as well uh, if you look around the 20 inch circle, there is some spots that are kind of blank towards the outer edge. Um, but for the most part, if you look at probably, I'd say that's probably about the 15 inch circle. About 15 inch, you're getting a really good spread of BBs um, for any errors that may happen at 40 yards. If we look at the 10 inch circle, there is no spot in this 10 inch circle that a turkey head could fit through without getting hit. So that is very good. Um, the 10 inch circle is a really well put together pattern. If we look at the overall BB count, um, here's the information on it. It was a Winchester SXP, 20 gauge, 24 inch barrel. I had an Apex 20 gauge. That's the load I told you guys in the nine shot. In the 10 inch circle, I had 336 BBs. And in the 20 inch circle, the circle out here, I had 161. And I was also using an Indian Creek 555, 0.555 Indian Creek choke. So I'm overall really impressed with that pattern right there. That's gonna kill some birds. Got my gun sighted in. I, uh, I moved the pattern a little bit more to the left. Um, as you can see where this circle is, um, it's a little bit higher it's not as center so basically that'll that would represent the turkey head um, this right here the top like the top of the turkey head not where the neck connects or any part of the neck and I would aim for the head and all of these other uh, BBs would hit in the neck region um, at connecting the the uh, head to the turkey or whatever you know what I'm saying but uh, so that's kind of how I would like it I moved it over to the to the left more so this would be centered up because I did want that to be center uh, but for the most part uh, this was a great pattern did a great job and I'm really happy with my gun and uh, I'm ready to get out there and start shooting some turkeys so that being said like subscribe comment do all the things y'all do tell me what you want to see and uh, I'm gonna put a video up in the this area or this area um, of me going around and asking the pros what their top turkey tip is. And I really liked that video myself. I learned a lot. I think you guys can too. So I'm gonna put it up there and uh, go ahead and click on it and uh, learn some knowledge on turkey hunting. They, 
They are a wealth of wisdom, those guys. They've been doing it for a long time. So go ahead, click that, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.